Good afternoon. My name is Robin Robinson, and I'm a senior here at Liberty University, and my major is early childhood education. Do you know that the United States is the only industrial country that doesn't offer guaranteed paid maternity leave? Did you know that Croatia offers 58 weeks of paid leave? Mm. Let's take a few minutes to examine the benefits mm -hmm. of paid maternity leave. How about, we'll say, just think about 12 weeks. Think about 20 weeks. Think about if you had 58 weeks. Let's look at how the United States fares in comparison to other countries when it comes to maternity leave. of social life. As women, we are primary caregivers, and the only way policies now are working, we have to put a stop to it. In 1993, in order to offer some sort of support for pregnant women, the Family Medical Leave Act was passed, and it's unpaid leave for 12 weeks. And you only half of working women actually have protection, job protection with this statue. The ideal image of a woman who works, cares for home and family, has to choose. If we choose to work, we have to pay high child care costs at approximately $18,000 a year in Pennsylvania alone. According to statistics, one out of five women, pregnant women, will not return to work. Quitting abruptly can wreak havoc on your finances, your career, and your relationship with your partner. The Word of God tells us that being a mother is a very important role that the Lord chooses to give to many women. We must take this role seriously. Children are a reward from God. So in saying this, why should we have to choose between our careers and motherhood? We are mothers of the 21st century, and our roles are many. Let's take a stand towards the future. Remember, we are virtuous women, as described in Proverbs 31, 10 to 30, 31, and we don't need to make a choice. The benefits of guaranteed paid maternity leave would have women less likely in poverty, in poverty have less emotions during and after pregnancy in regards to who, what, and where will I take my baby? We'll have more time to bond 
to breathe, to enjoy, and to save money to keep ourselves from lowering our financial stature. We would be better employees when we return because we would be more relaxed in our everyday routine. It's a win-win for everyone. So what should we do? Talk and pray. Talk to each other. Pray for each other. Talk to your human resource representative. Write letters to your council person and post your concerns on social media. Let's just talk. Thank you.